I am back from shopping and I unloaded the car and I decided that I am not wearing pants. So yeah, that happened. Yeah. So I'm going to relax and then post some videos and take a shower, probably read, meditate again, and go to bed because I'm tired. I did have a fruitful shopping day though. I ended up getting a couple sweaters and then I got a bunch of stuff for food for the week and I got almost all the ingredients for this dish that I want to try to make. Um, yeah, I've been like totally craving it. Make it. Maybe this week if I have time. Hopefully. I might not have time. I can wait till the weekend, but that's okay. I can wait till the weekend. Everything will keep. So could be interesting. I also found this little store that was having clearance and I got tank tops because they were like three dollars a piece and I couldn't help it. I got every color that I didn't hate. And then I got a couple sweaters today and some dresses that were also on sale at that little store for five bucks I think. I got some new clothes. I was gonna get jeans and then I was just like was already wearing jeans and like for some reason if I'm already wearing jeans and I go jean shopping I'm like no. Yeah. Anyway I ended up not trying on any jeans. I did go to, I also went to Petco and looked at all the little animals and they didn't have a lot of snakes or lizards. They had some bearded dragons, but they had birds. And this one bird tried to adopt me, which that happens because birds really seem to like me. I actually really love birds too. I think they sense it and I'm just like, oh, I just want to rub on you. I wouldn't let myself hold or pet any of the animals because I knew, I knew would want to take them home. I saw ferrets and they were sleeping. I used to have a couple ferrets when I was younger. It's like a teenager. I also had snakes. I got a ball python for my birthday. Unfortunately, she got out of her enclosure because she always gets, she would always get out of her enclosure no matter what. I could lock it with a padlock and she would still find a way to squeeze out of it. Unfortunately, she got out one day and then I never found her. That's a horrible story. It's probably a really good thing they didn't have they didn't have any snakes because I would have been really tempted to get another pet snake because I like snakes and lizards and all kinds of pets. I saw gerbils and hamsters and these adorable little white mom the little white mice were just like so cute with their big ears. And they were only like four dollars and I was like twenty-five dollars, maybe even maybe fifty, probably a hundred because I would want to get a whole bunch of stuff for the little dude. Anyway, but like for a hundred bucks I could like or less. I could have a little pet mouse. But then I would have to clean its cage and it would bite me, so I don't really want to get bit. I've had birds and ferrets and snakes and dogs and cats and also took care of exotic wildlife and helped my mom when she used to rescue wildlife and I used, as a teenager I would help her. So anyway, I'm looking at all these different animals and I was thinking maybe I could get like an exotic pet. So I started researching and I saw all these like marmosets and different things and I realized that's not going to be a good pet for me. I am home all the time. Not all the time, but I'm home a lot. But I don't think primates really make good pets from what I read. I also don't want to get bit a whole bunch. If I want to get bit a bunch, I'll get a cat. Cats are fine. I did see the there's like little black kittens that are available at the pound, like south of me. There's three or four within like range and I check them all. So I might t go get a couple little black kittens, but I haven't decided yet. Luckily the Petco didn't have any pet things going on today because I probably would have adopted a pet today had they had like dogs and cats having one of their event things. Some new lip gloss today. It's NYX Butter Gloss, which is my favorite, and I found this color. This might be too light for me. Dang it. It's called Creme Brulee. That's what color it is. That is much lighter than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I think that might be too light for my skin tone, unless I wore some uh, lip liner. Okay. I tried. So yeah, these are my three pens that I've been color coordinating things with. I'll tell you what they mean. See, I told you I'm nerdy. Anyway, so I really like notebooks and I really like color coordinating things and all that stuff. So the black ink is for like household stuff, running errands, turning in library books, going grocery shopping, paying bills, paying rent, all that kinds of stuff. That's what this is for. Purple is for my spices. It is for everything, all things Sarah Blake, Mistress Sarah Blake, all of that stuff. Also, purple is the color Ellen. And it's my favorite color. Purple is my absolute favorite color. All right, and teal is my second favorite color. Yeah, 
Teal's my second favorite color, and then and then black, probably. Blue, this teal blue, is one of my favorite colors. You think that's teal? That's more like an ocean sea breeze blue. This is teal. Maybe there's, there's a lot of colors that people call teal that aren't really teal. Anyway, this color is for my new business where I'm going to be teaching meditation. I use this for all of the things I need to do with my new business where I am going to be doing mainstream things and running ads and social media and creating a whole new website that has a membership and it sells online courses and teaches people grounding stuff and like basic living stuff and just helpful stuff if you're a trauma survivor. So yeah. Lots of stuff going on. That's my pen system right now to help me keep track of all my stuff. I decided I am not going to install the furnace filter yet because I'm tired and it's dark and there's always tomorrow. I don't have to turn the furnace on tonight, so not having a filter is not going to do anything. It's not going to bother anything. So we can wait another day. So that's on my list for tomorrow.